trade S Bank and whether to hold S Bank or sell S Bank. What is the future target? When is the result? And what will who are the investors? In this video, we are going to see about it. And this is always about intentions. And welcome back to my channel, guys. Hi guys, a happy day to all and now we are going to see about S Bank Limited as I already said that regarding the LIC takeover and when is the result and this stock is being favored to all. So if you ask me the first question we are going to answer is how to trade tomorrow and what will be the target of tomorrow. Simple guys, if the share price is 42.75 and we may see a target up to 45 to 46.5 maybe 47 in this yes bank share if it breaks 43.45 i repeat again guys if this share breaks tomorrow 43.45 to 44 range then we may see a target of 47 so keep your stop loss at, at 40 rupees if you want to trade an intraday position for long term traders there is no problem guys as we already said if we can take risk then hold fully we add, and you may see a target of 53 rupees. Now, oh, if you if you can't hold for that long time, and if you are being very risk on holding this share, then at least sell half of your positions. In it goes to 43 rupees to 47 rupees. Uh, that will be very advice if you are holding for a short term, guys. And moving on, when would be the results? We are thinking that this week or maybe by the February, because. The ASEAN is coming on February 7th as we know the company is rising or planning to rise and want to get the shareholders approval for raising 10,000 crore of amount which may mean them in the form of QIP or AGR or any other forms of bond or currency they are speaking guys and the third thing we want to say is that when will the future comes for this bank we have also said that it is one of our multi bucket speak for this year and when will this come if you ask me the answer to this guys you can't expect the change in just one or two months guys because the impact that has created due to the bad loans that is a very very important thing to note and also you should know the credit growth is low in this company or for all the banks what is credit growth if you ask me the new if you, if you want to start a business you want to get a loan so you may approach bank to get a loan so how much persons go and approach a bank and how much loan they give that is the thing to note as credit growth but now as the economy is in dead depressed and this is very very important point to note that if in budget anything is very very positive for banks financial institutions industries infrastructure companies then all banks and all things will definitely increase and we may see a beautiful profit in during the budget time guys and next thing we want to say in this yes bank is that what about shortest yes guys we receive a lot of messages i mean what to say this bank is not worth at all this bank is not uh, we fit to be a bank that like most of people are telling guys you should know that if a public sector bank head HBA chairman is telling that he will not let down his bank to go down then how do you think that this bank is a scrap yes guys you may say they just been posting losses it is a scrap but you should think that because of creating provisions only this company is creating loss but operatingly this company is in profit so all banks are in this stage guys when the provisions come down and when the bad when the provisions for the bad loan are fully filled up we may see a revival in this banks big loan banks not only in yes bank all the public sector banks such as united bank of india and innovations bank etc could see a beautiful jump in future guys and this is what we are seeing on yes bank also so guys how to trade tomorrow finally we are seeing a target of 43.5 to 44 rupees if it breaks 44 rupees we may see a 47 rupees target and the next thing is that on the short side, if you want to trade an intraday, I mean, if you are seeing the stop loss, keep the stop loss at 40 rupees, guys. And this is what about this bank. See you in another video very soon.